this to do your bonus read. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my... Oh, that card wanted to come out, didn't it? I love the way I do it. Do those girly screams. It's the hermit. Do those little girly screams when that happens because it sort of takes you by surprise. So I hope I didn't frighten the life out of everybody. Um, bonus read. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you. If you're if the readings resonate with you, please make sure you thumbs up the video for me so we can get the channel going. We've come to a little bit of a sort of a slow time and. Um, I've told everybody that I will start doing Facebook Lives once we get over 10,000 and we've done a slow crawl up to 10,000. I think the universe has given me a little bit of room. I'm using the Tarot of the Night here um, and I do have the Eight of Cups coming out in reverse. So I don't know how I got my deck upside down, but that's the whole deck's upside down. So as you know, if it comes out upside down, I'll read it upside down. There's a situation here that you are refusing to move away from this is about um, walking away from something that emotionally does not serve you anymore so when it's in reverse it means that you are refusing to move away that you've not seen that there's no point in working on something anymore the what's cracking reading was a little bit like that too where it was sort of like you're making this last dish effort to get something going that may have lost its passion for you but this is what it does when it's upside down. It's showing that you're not moving away from something. Behind that, we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting, Eights. So the Eight of Swords is about being stuck in your own head, not being able to move forward, overthinking things, having your eyes closed so that you can't move forward. Um, I feel that for, a lot, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, oh my goodness, then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, these cards have been really, really shuffled well. So I'm not sure, but we have three eights in a row here, which means things are coming into conclusion here. The Eight of Pentacles talks about working on something. So what we have here for some of you is working on something that really is not going anywhere. It's really very stuck. I'm curious. There's a King of Pentacles here and there was in the What's Cracking one too. So some of you dealing with Earth signs. It's like you're not giving up on something that is absolutely not going to work for you. So it's time now to put it down, let it go, move forward. It's you're refusing to see that it's not working. OK, you're refusing to see that it's not happening. So it's time to walk away from something if it is not bringing you any fulfillment. OK, so I have the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. So maybe some of you are worried about moving away because you think this is your person. Um, and the universe is saying it's not your person. You need to move on here. Very interesting. So the Queen of Pentacles is... Capricorn Taurus Virgo and this is a general reading so let's just take the attributes here so it's a person who's very very down to earth very grounded very much able to see what's going on here so I think as a person you are able to see what's happening here but perhaps you're ignoring it so maybe you're with someone that you really or you are in love with someone that you really need to let go of and walk away from but you're refusing to do that because for some unknown reason you have some sort of strong tie to them. So they would have been a person that perhaps you've invested your time and energy in that was only there to give you lessons, not there for the long term. Okay, we have the high priestess here. So we do have you being very intuitive, very understanding of this whole situation and understanding that you need to feel out what's going on here. Trust your intuition. Ace of Pentacles, because you're now moving towards stability. You're now moving towards a time when things in your life are starting to become more evident. You're you've got a, you're stabilizing yourself now. So you're letting things go and going into stability. Three of Wands coming out here. So yes, you're looking for your ships to come in. You're looking towards the future. You're understanding not everything that was in your life is meant to be there, but that's okay. You've taken the lessons from it. Four of Pentacles here, card that is coming out a lot lately, asking you to let go of things that no longer serve you, ideas, situations, anything that really is not in your life to teach you anymore. You've learned what you needed to learn. Time to move on here. 
This can be about hanging on to money too. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. So the universe is trying to guide you in a brand new direction here. It's trying to offer you something brand new. Try and change your thinking around what you've been doing here. Because what it's trying to say is that you're thinking that things were supposed to go a certain way and they didn't go that way and it was good because it wasn't meant to go that way. So now what you're doing is you're letting go of that thinking and moving in a brand new direction. And we do have the chariot here moving you forward. Okay, page of pentacles coming out here. So there's an offer coming in, an offer that's solid and a brand new start with the fool. And we do have the tower, oh, the hermit. Oh, that came out, didn't it, when we were shuffling? That's why. Because the universe is asking you here to take time out. Okay, very similar reading to the What's Cracking. I use a completely different deck every time. Sometimes it's a continuation. Sometimes it's exactly the same. And in this particular scenario, I think it's just reinforcing this idea of um, keep trying at something and nothing's working here. So we had three eights come out here with the King of Pentacles, um, which talk about walking away, letting go um, of like sleepless nights and energy wasted. Something just came to mind then. The universe just sent me in a message and I was talking, so I missed it. I feel like uh, this for this reading appears to me to be for people who are in karmic relationships. I've got to say that's just what came through. I feel like a lot of people are hanging on to karmics that should be letting them go. Now, the reason I say that is because I had this just this huge message come through then that people are trying to flog this dead horse thing. You know, you're trying to make something work when you're not supposed to be with someone anymore. So when a relationship has passed its used to by date and we continue to try and bring something in when we know it's not going to go anywhere, but we feel we've all done it. We don't feel perhaps love for that person anymore or, or a stronger love. Maybe we still have some respect for them, but it's like you keep trying at something that's not going anywhere and you have this feeling in your gut that you know it's not going anywhere, but you're scared and fear won't let you give it away. It's your fear that keeps you hanging on, your fear of being on your own, your fear of being lonely keeps you working at it. And I feel this is what's happening here and this is why the readings are coming up this way. There's a lot of people out there who are hanging on to situations that are done, they're completed. And you keep hanging on for what? Because you're not going to bring back what you had to start with. The time is gone. The Four of Pentacles tells me that you need to now let go and move forward. Now, that's very difficult, I understand, for some people. But what you have to understand is you were with this person for a reason. There were lessons here for you to learn and now they're done. The universe here is waiting for you to move on. It's trying to move you forward because there's something in your future that you need to move towards. But you're stuck here. Um, and you need to take time out to really understand why is the universe moving you forward. Well, looking at this reading, I'm thinking you've got an offer of something fantastic here in your future. So this person is standing here waiting with this gift for you, but you're refusing to move forward. There's a brand new start after a period of taking time out to heal from what's gone on here. So there will be some people who've already done this and walked away. You could have walked away from an earth sign, but I strongly feel this earth energy is about you really getting the idea, really understanding your intuitions on point here. But there's a brand new start with this Ace of Pentacles here. And the Three of Wands tells me now that you're waiting for your ships to come in. So what you need to do is understand that situations finish. They, they stop. They, they're done. And what you keep doing is wasting your own existence, wasting your life, wasting your time, by not understanding that it's time to go, time to move on. What are you clinging to? The universe is here saying, you know, you've got wonderful things to look forward to in your future. And I always say to people, you know, this, it, this life is about you. You don't get to do it again. 
You don't get to try again if it's not happening. So why are you living your life half? Why are you flogging the dead horse? Ask yourself, what is keeping me here? Is it fear of what I don't know? Is it fear of moving forward? Am I scared of being lonely? Am I scared of encountering something? Because there's all, this is about your lesson. This is about you moving forward, taking something by the horns and going for something you really want. So this reading's obviously for a good majority of you here. I'm talking to people who have not realised that the universe is open and ready to offer you something brand new. But you have to decide that it's time for you to let go. Let go of your four of pentacles. Take the lessons and go. Actually, I'm surprised the six of swords isn't here, quite frankly, because that's a very six of swords energy. Big, happy changes but you need to let go of what you're hanging on to. The universe cannot bring you rewards if you are stuck. So ask yourself, do you need to move forward here? Have a great day, everyone.